fix despite having uh, gone under them at Princess Park. Forward by Ridley, picked off by Hogg. Hogg's kick should be marked and is marked very, very well indeed by Spalding in front of Harvey. He plays on, kicks towards full forward. Rhys Jones, yes! Oh, what a spectacular mark taken by David Rhys Jones, only 30 metres from goal. Well, a hallmark of Rhys Jones' game is the fact that he seems to have a ton of time to do with the ball, whatever he wants. And on that occasion, he made that mark look easy. Shoots for goal. And there's no doubt it's a goal to lose. Coonahan over the top of Danaher. Ball spills free. Oh, Shaw looking for a free kick. free kick. Umpire says no. Williams. Diulio. He'll shoot at goal. Wait on the umpire. All clear. What pace shown by Dulio. Started from three metres behind, got to the front and forced the ball into the position to where it is at the moment. In front of the goals. Kilpatrick, Dulio off the ground. Oh, Kernahan will kick it anyway. Left foot snap is good. What First is goal there for Stephen Kernahan and Carlton 4 1, lead Essendon 1 1. Rhys Jones, no, he can't mark and he slips over. And by G is it critical. The Bombers rebound. Kilpatrick's kick to right half forward. Oh, free. Albert oh, marks it anyway. Oh. A kick off the ground. Goes about 30 metres towards the Carlton goal. Thompson's caught by Dulio. And he's been penalised when maybe, just maybe, the umpire could have let that go. Dulio up towards full foot. Kernahan. Oh, he's got to run at it. You can't stop that man then. Well, the last goal came at the 22nd minute of the first quarter. That was kicked by Simon Madden. So have we got a goal here? Yes, he kicks this one, Stephen Kernahan. Can Carlton get another one? Can Essendon get the reply? Hacked out of the pack to Spalding from Bradley. It must have just gone the required distance. Scholl. Scholl on a lead and marks. Well, he's no closer, really. No, not really. And the angle probably isn't... Uh, it's fair, it's a fair angle, more than 45 degrees. Far more acute. Probably about 60. Oh, Kernahan. Kernahan kicking for his third goal and the second for the second term. Carlton led by nine points at the change. And swerving around for a goal. Three goals to Kernahan and two goals coming up from the Carlton star in a couple of minutes. 6 2 to 2 9. Ratton 9 and 5. Here's a chance for O'Sullivan. He kicks it high from the back. Oh, a high jump there was from Bradley. O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan. Oh. oh, he was at it and at it. Dulio. O'Sullivan again. He's kicked the goal. Great hand pass. Well, he hasn't. He's missed. Dulio on the ground. I think it was that got it out to him, Robbo. An excellent hand pass. O'Sullivan. Excellent smother by Denham, but he's got a second go again, O'Sullivan. Backs up well, Rhys Jones. Statuesque, in front, can't take the mark. Kick it, in trouble. Well tackled by the hyphen, who comes out with the football. Will he give it to Williams? No. Athorn. Diulio. Right foot snap. And gets the goal. And give it to Rhys Jones. Terry Danaher. Justin Madden hits the deck. He might get a free kick for Carlton. The advantage is paid. Ratton. Takes advantage of it, finds a man, Hannah. He was spoken to by the runner a short time back, so he's well upfield. Looks for Kernahan, finds him in front of Alessio, 50 metres out from goal. Simon Madden's gone off the ground too, and he's been replaced at what by Wallace at full forward. A goal here by Kernahan, which would be his fifth if he's to get it, would make Essendon's task pretty difficult. Especially as they've only kicked four goals, 18 so far. To I'd 10 like to have the same chance of winning Tats Lotto as Kernahan has got of kicking his fifth goal. A few million to one. Look at the result. He'd like the result. Final quarter from Princess Park and Carlton that would appear holding a match-winning lead of 34 points, restricting Essendon to two goals since quarter time. Bombers certainly have had a forward line in disarray today. Kick up by Ratton towards full forward, Kernahan, he could make it another one here at the start of the final quarter and he has done, but that's just what Kevin Sheedy didn't want. Nearly marked by Hills, but brilliantly done by Williams, away to Bond, further forward, Bradley will nearly get a goal here, casually does Craig Bradley, and he smacks it straight through the centre. Near the centre, 
Awkward bounce. Still awkward, but well controlled by Bond. Hand pass into the path of Bradley. Goes to Welsh. Welsh from 50 metres. Rowan Welsh has tipped the goal of the day. Set up beautifully again by Craig Bradley with a lightning fast hand pass. Dorotich on the burst, up from full back. Solid game from John Dorotich. Diulio into full forward. Reese Jones has the set. Hasn't got the mark. He plays on. And gets it. The hyphen makes it through. And they love him. On the death throws of this match, Sexton marks it right half back. And kicks with the left. Finds Spalding. Spalding's sweeping run. Gets past Harvey. And then kicks it up towards full forward. No mark taken. It's punched back. Little kick off the ground. Reese Jones. Kernahan. Can he get his seventh goal? He's got it. He's kicked it. Miraculous stuff by the captain. He's topped the goal king at Princess Park. Captain, best and fairest. Madden, who has played particularly well in the ruck today. No doubt about that. Got the better of his brother. Kick out of the pack towards full four. Almost a mark. That's Welsh again. Reese Jones off the oh. ground. Oh, he's got it! troubled most times by Essendon so to get a result we worked very hard I think Essendon were much much superior to us in the first half and didn't get a result on the board and we were able to hurt them dreadfully in the second half played great footy because they demoralized themselves by not converting what they should have and I think our second half against Essendon was as good a football as we've played this year and we would get enormous confidence knowing that it's Essendon um, despite the fact that many had written them off, um, I still think they're one of the most competitive teams. They've got a great blend of youth and experience and some clear match winner type players that were able to counter those. Um, it confirmed Stephen Kernahan's great confidence and, and goal kicking ability, which uh, has, had come to the fore by about this stage in the season that we had now had a bona fide forward. He might kick us 100 goals. Uh, young Rowan Welsh was filling in very well with Stephen Silvani struggling as he did from this point on with his ankle to get him right so that we could use him up. Um, there were some very good indicators I think from that Essendon game that we were playing what we call one-on-one um, -on -one footy. Um, we certainly were well aware that our speed over the ground was a problem to us. Um, we weren't crumbling as well in and under for the, for the same reason. We didn't have players with exception maybe Mill Hanna who could run the lines, tuck it under the arm and really open things up for us. So we're getting ourselves into a very much a one-on-one -on -one contest basis where as long as we can nail them and get them into reasonably close uh, contesting area that if we weren't allowing size to run off and do their own thing we're always going to be in trouble if we did because we just didn't have the leg speed to keep with them and we we're and we and most of the players were committing to that even players who maybe don't really want to mill hand as a classical example who be, who's become just a wonderful um, competitor, we were giving him the best forward in the opposition every week and Mill was playing them shoulder to shoulder and marking over them, knocking away and running off them but not just nicking off and doing his own thing, really aware of his opponent and if Mill was prepared to do that and play that way it was a terrific example, a terrific leadership role for the rest of the team and we were starting to think that way, the mentality here was well if we can get them into a fair income con conflict con contesting type situations and this team had a lot to offer um, and I think about this stage against Eston we're starting to be convinced that our game plan for this current group of players in this particular season had to be along those lines and I think um, it was a very important victory for us against Eston just cementing that particular fact.